Hi everyone, this is Kathy Mason from Mason Works Marketing, and I'm here today with Brett Petway. She's an author, an artist, an inspiration maker, and she is about to tell us about this wonderful new free program that she's putting together that is self-care through prayer experience. It's going to be July 1st through the 7th. So hi, Brett. How are you? Good, good. Good. So could you tell us a little bit about, about this prayer experience and why it's important and how we can participate? I'd love to. Great. I'm having this seven day through interactive prayer experience starting July 1st through the 7th. So we're going to be taking a prayerful journey through the 4th of July. So I'm super excited about that. And I love sharing self-care through prayer. I think it's really important in today's time to pray very simply for ourselves and take care of ourselves with our head, heart, and hand. So I bring an interactive piece to it. And I love helping us stay connected to God and God and Jesus for me. But prayer is non-denominational, so it doesn't really matter how you stay connected. It's that you pray and that you take care of yourself. So we, I'm, out, I'm asking people to go to prayersgood.com and download this journal. This is a journal that we will work in each day for the seven days. And we will be coloring a prayerful postcard. So the first one is be at peace. So you can get a little idea here about that's the first day, July 1st. And I'm going to start us out. You know, my a lot of my work is to go slow because I'm super fast and we live in a fast paced society. So it's like, go slow, go slow. So every day we're going to start by going really slow and I'm going to, inspire you about being at peace and ask you to tune into your heart and really dive into the moment. This video will be like five to 10 minutes at the shortest. So it's a, it's a process to get you moving through your day with prayer. And so I'll ask you a little bit about being at peace. You'll color and you'll journal, and then we're going to create an altar together. So each day we will add to an altar that we create in our home, in our office, wherever you're working with me through this process and I'll share a little bit about altars on the first day and what they mean to me. I love bringing my prayer to life in one way is through an altar. And then I'm going to ask us to interact with each other, you know, to post beneath the, the video how you're doing. If you have questions, I'm going to be posting my altar so we can share our altars. And I love praying for each other. I love pr praying for all dear people. So it's a simple process. You don't have to be at the live video. You can come and watch me each day at your own timing. And you can always go back. You can go to day four and then go to day two if you want to work with these postcards and you need to be at peace that day. And we're on day six. You're welcome to go back to the be at peace day. I don't think that we'll all color our cards all at once. I think it's a process and, and I know we don't have a lot of time. So it's very forgiving. So join me. Let's pray together. People who pray together, stay together. Yeah. So I'm so excited because first of all, these, each one of those um, images that are in the journal are quite profound. They really can shift people from stress and unhappiness to this whole different place of life where they're, we're really reconnected to source and, and can really feel the love of God. And that's so missing. We're, we're giving, giving, giving. We, this is our chance to receive. So that's one huge benefit. But the, also to be guided by Brett. Brett has, um, she wrote a book about her journey. Yeah, and sure. yeah, she's got 20 some years of work and walking this path. What almost going on. 25 yes. years plus um, of walking this path of using these the head, heart, and hands to create a connection that grounds you, that gives you a whole different outlook on life. It releases depression. It's it's just such a different uh, opportunity to really connect up and to give yourself that. I mean, yes. <laughs> I know it's so important. We just, it's easy for us to be disconnected today. So my passion and my mission is to help us stay connected. And when I, what I mean by that is stay connected to our own hearts through 
through God. So it's the triangle, it's God and ourselves and our journaling and our coloring and the active piece, you know, a lot happens when we're active, you know, when we we're walking or we're coloring or we're journaling, we're actually, there's movement and that makes a difference in how we feel. It makes, it helps us take deeper breaths. It helps us tune into our heart and helps us develop our senses and our, and our left and right brain. You know, there's all kinds of studies of how, just coloring helps us, you know, right. Therapists are, they're prescribing coloring in the coloring books. Lately. Right. Right. Well, it's not really a fad. It's really a tool. Yeah, cool. That's right. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. really a tool. Yeah. And I that free that. journal is wonderful. The free journal that this whole process is going to be using is um, for easy download at prayerisgood.com. And then, um, Brett, what time will you be on live if you, like in the group, in Prayer is Good Circle group, what time will you be on every day for the seven days? So I will be on at 9 a.m. Eastern time. Okay. Eastern. So that's 9 a.m. I'll come on. I think there's one day I need to post a video, but the rest of the days I'm planning to be live. Okay. And what what do you hope that, I mean, can you see in the future the, the, you're inspiring people to take this break and to really nurture themselves. But do you feel that there's a um, profound shift when you've seen people use these tools before? Have you seen that, I mean, they're in seven days, they could really feel different? It's um, it, definitely, you know, you, it, but you have to take the, the only thing I can really share about that is you have to take the time to do it, to feel the difference. So it does take a commitment and an intention to spend, I would say, even if it's five minutes a day for those seven days, but, but really tune into how you do really feel after the seven days. So we have to, uh, it doesn't just happen. We really have to help ourselves feel today. I, I feel like we have to help ourselves feel how we really feel because we're all on our devices and on computers and, and there's just this buzz of, of life that's full. Yeah. And me, I know in my own experience, I have to slow down enough to actually feel and, and go slow enough to go, how am I really feeling? You know, and I, and that's for me. So I know other people must be feeling this too. So yes, it, it will make a very big difference in your life if you slow down and you do it. And then I ask you, how do you feel? You know, I will be asking you, how do you feel? How is this for you? You know, for some people, it might be very hard because we don't know what it feels like to slow down. Right. And we don't know what it feels like to feel. You might be surprised what might come up. And, you know, you can reach out to me for help. I'm not a, I'm not a therapist. I'm not, a, you know, a trained therapist. But, you know, I have places where you can get help and, and, and reach out. So I'm not, you know, I'm certainly there to help. But, you know, things might come up. So, right, because, right. But that's life, and it's okay. It's all good. That's what I want is for us to feel and connect to God and and ask for you know God's support and prayer and not be attached to what it looks like. Right. Be open to feeling differently. Well, the the coloring of the cards. I've had lots of experiences of using your wonderful prayer is good cards, and they allow you a chance when you know you're going to do them it is a meditation mm -hmm. it, it is an experience of going inward stopping the monkey mind stopping the and any of that talk that goes on and just going into it and somehow for me it's a childhood joy that comes up because i i love i've always loved art so i can sort of go to that place where i used to color when i was five years old and, and really get in it. So it's, it not only are you, um, uh, uh, help shepherding us to see how to do more than our regular prayer. This is a, an interactive, um, process that you're going to lead us through to build an altar, to use these cards, to, to do the whole thing. And I'm so excited about it. So, um, so I, I, I'm, I want to make sure that people know how to get 
um, the free journal and where you're going to be every day so that okay. they can participate. And and then Brett, also, if you can tell um, what, what they should do to participate, you know, if you can add a little bit more about that, that would be great too. So you'll want to go to our website, prayersgood.com, and you and you want to download the journal. You'll you'll need the journal to really take this process fully. And so you'll print that. Then you're going to want to sign up for the Prayers Good Circle group. You're going to want to be at the group because I will be at the Prayers Good Circle group July 1st through the 7th at 9 a.m. Eastern time is when I'm going to go live. But like I said, the video will be there. And then I'm going to ask you to interact with me. So I will post a photo of my altar every day underneath the video so that you can see the process of adding to this altar and what it looks like. You're welcome to post your own photos of your altars, of your coloring cards. I'll post maybe a coloring card or two. I don't know, you don't have to color the whole card. I want you to be very forgiving in this process. It's more about the process and having the experience than it is about your card being having to look a certain way or having to have certain colors or being attached to that because that's not what this is about. Right. This is about the process and the connection right. and whatever it looks like. It's a beautiful. So I'm, I'm a self-taught artist. I'm not trained in any way, shape or form. So any color you can pick is good with me <laughs> Just that you're doing it. So right. I think that covers everything Kathy I don't know you know That's interact great. with me yeah I and and I just want to thank you I want to thank you for inspiring us to really take better care of ourselves and giving us all I mean thank you for your time and effort that you're giving to inspire us and to guide us to a, a path to peace and love that um, we 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 really need your help to <laughs> to shepherd us on because we're so we've just got too much going on we really do if we have families and partners and uh you know uh, animals houses okay. gardens this time of year i mean it, there's just so many distractions and we we give ourselves very little love yep. for this special time so i just thank you for this inspiration and i hope as many of my friends and followers will see this and be inspired as well and you know play around with it have some fun with yeah. with this idea i mean there's a reason why people are loving doing coloring it's just a, a feel good wonderful experience and then if you can add prayer to it it's it's, it's awesome. a yeah. helpful <laughs> yeah and i love you know i love that prayer is non-denominational so I just, I inspire people not to get stuck on prayer being Christian. I mean, I love Jesus and God and I, my connection with Jesus is, and God is just everything to me. You know, it's how I do what I do is every day I stay connected and I stay connected in all different ways. And I'm just, I'm soon going to share that at Brett Petway. There'll be way more headed your way with Brett Petway, but super excited about it because there's just so many ways we can share our spiritual selves in the world. And I don't think we're doing that to our capacity. So I am all about it. Yeah. They, well, we definitely need more of this kind of news rather than the other kind of news. So I thank you so much, Brad. And I'm definitely looking forward to doing this every day for seven oh, days. Good. And I hope my friends are too. I hope as many yes. of you as possible and can please, schedule this. The, the beauty of the end of the seven days, I'm going to ask everybody to share what it was like for them and, and give me feedback because I, you know, I'll be doing more of these programs. I've got a 40 days with prayer and, you know, I have different, different prayer programs that I'm going to be putting together in different ways, you know, in different webinars and different ways I'm going to be bringing prayer to life through many different mediums. So, you know, your feedback is great and, there's no, I mean, anything is good feedback for me. So yeah. I appreciate oh, you joining me. I look forward to seeing you. It's oh, thank you for your generosity, really. Yes. Thank you. You give you give so much to so many. And I just really want to acknowledge that and say how grateful I am yeah. for it. And thank you for helping me. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
God bless okay. everybody. Thank you. Okay. For I'll put the links uh, down below in the comments so that everyone can connect with Brad and make it easy. But uh, give yourself the gift of this, you guys. You, it's it's transformative and easy and fun to do. Okay. So see you, see you Sunday. Bye bye. Bye bye everybody.